Let's uh, turn our attention to Mpumalanga now, where the health MEC, Sasegane Manzini, will today unveil her department's uh, contingency plans to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and in that province. Now, the Mpumalanga province is expecting an influx of travellers this festive season, with many people travelling to Mozambique and Eswatini from provinces such as Gauteng and the Northwest. And that's where we find uh, Newsroom Africa's Mwe Masilela, who is in Machada Torp, uh, that's in Pumalanga, where the contingency plans are going to be announced. Mwele, very good morning to you. Do we have an idea of what these plans are? Good morning, Goli. Yes, indeed. Uh, you'll know that already there's been quite a number of operations in the province, talking about uh, the police minister, Apegekele, was here, and also transport minister, Figile Mbalula, was also here. So now what is happening is that the Department of Health is working with other departments to ensure that uh, during this festive season, as we are expecting an influx of people traveling to different destinations, especially from provinces like Houting and the Northwest, we know that uh, there's many people who are using major like the N4. So what the department uh, wants is to ensure that people who are passing through into this province are screened and tested before they reach their uh, different destinations. But for more on this, I'm joined by the head of Department of Health here in the province, uh, Umam Savera Mohangi. Umam, if you can tell us uh, in terms of uh, these plans, what exactly can we expect? Thank you very much, um, Mweli. Uh, in terms of the plans, we are today launching our planned patient transport as well as the festive period plans. Um, when I say planned patient transport, we then will be able to have more ambulances available to be able to deal with trauma cases. So our EMS response will be part of all the roadblocks. We also have our plans in terms of our staff being at all the major roadblocks. They have also been at the peak areas like the malls, the shopping centers, uh, the taxi ranks, and most importantly, we are also at the border posts where we'll be doing screening and testing of all uh, people that are coming in. We also have our plans in place to be able to track patients that are moving through the province as well as from province to province so that if there are any challenges, we'll be able to trace those patients even later on. What we have done as well is we've made sure that our quarantine and isolation sites uh, are up to standard so that each of our districts have these isolation and quarantine sites if in the event we need them. Our hospitals have also, we've done the assessments, both of public and private hospitals, to ensure that they are also ready to be able to admit if there's an increase in uh, COVID patients, which we expect over the period, the, the festive period. And like I've mentioned, the planned patient transport will now allow us to be able to use, to move those patients that are not critical and non-emergencies from uh, one facility to another, and thus freeing up the ambulances to deal just with emergencies in future. We know that uh, in the country as a whole, they've been talking about more than 10,000 infections in the last 24 hours. I'm wondering now, what is the situation in the province in terms of new infections? Okay, in terms of the province, we are, we are more or less stable at the moment. We haven't started to surge or anything like that. We are having less than... Um, uh, at the moment, we have active cases as of yesterday. We have just 744 active cases in the whole province. So in terms of the increase, we are, we are not seeing an increase. We are still seeing a decrease and a decline in our cases. But we know that with the festive period, as you mentioned, we are also a tourist, uh, a tourist uh, destination. So we do expect to see, start to see the rise in, in, in cases. Um, so we are making sure that all our plans are in place and we are ready to respond. But as a province, we are okay. We are comfortable at the moment with our statistics. Uh, thank you very much, Doctor, for talking to us. Uh, that is uh, Dr. Savera Mohangi, who is the head of department uh, here in Mpumalanga, the Department of Health, telling us that, well, uh, they'll be out and about making sure that as they are expecting the influx of people traveling uh, this side from other provinces, well, they are being screened and tested and also <coughs> making sure that health institutions are ready in case there is a surge in terms of infections. All right, Mweli Masilela, thank you very much for that update.